So we're gonna start out seated today. Um, you can be up on um, a blanket or a pillow or a block if you'd like to, or just on your seat. And then just find a nice tall spine here. We're just gonna close the eyes down. Your hands can be somewhere in your lap or on top of your legs, or if you wanna bring one to heart center or one to belly, that's good too. Let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Let the eyes close down. We'll start a deeper, longer breath, a smoother breath here. Take a big inhale and a long exhale. Good morning, Terry. And if you are um, using the playlist today, you can go ahead and start it. As you take a few more breaths here, bigger inhale, longer exhale, you might want to set an intention for your practice or for your day. And a reminder that you can come back to throughout class and throughout your day. Let's take two more breaths here. The eyes are still closed. Go ahead and gently open up the eyes. We're just going to reach the hands out to our sides here. Let the fingertips come to the floor. Keep that nice tall spine and then reach the right arm up and over towards the left. Go ahead and then come back to center. Inhale. Exhale, drop the right hand down. Inhale, reach the left arm up and stretch over towards the right. If you are up on something on your seat, go ahead and take it out from underneath you and come down. I'm gonna do that again here. Nice tall spine. Fingertips touch the floor. Inhale, reach the right arm up and over towards the left. And you might come a little lower this time. So maybe the left elbow comes towards the floor or touches the floor. Come back to center here. Inhale, reach the left arm up and stretch over to the right. Same thing, you might come a little, a little lower here, maybe come onto your elbow. And then come back to center. Take the hands back behind you now and then just draw the heart up and squeeze the shoulder blades back. Squeeze the elbow blade elbows towards one another here. Lift your chin a little bit and then exhale, release. Drop your chin to your chest. Walk the hands forward now in front of your legs and start to walk over your legs into a forward fold. 
move my seat here. Good, stay low here, and then now walk the arms over to the left side of your mat. Keep your chin tucked into your chest. Inhale and come back to center. Hold here in your fold. Inhale and exhale. Go over on to the right side of your mat. Stay in this forward fold. And inhale, come back to center. Walk back up to your seat. We're going to take that little stretch again. Bring the hands back behind. Inhale, lift the heart. Squeeze the elbows and the shoulder blades back towards one another. Good. And then come back to your seat. Keep um, the, the legs down. Just cross the other shin in front. So if you have the right, just cross the left in front of the right now. And then we're going to do our cat-cow seated today. So bring the arms up to cactus, let the elbows bend out, and the palms face forward, fingers face up. Inhale, again, draw those shoulder blades back, lift your heart, and this time as you exhale, round the back, tuck the chin, bring the elbows in towards one another. Maybe they touch one another, maybe your pinky fingers touch one another. Inhale, again, draw the heart up and open. And then exhale, round and close. We'll do that a few more times here. Just go ahead at your own pace. If you want to linger in one of these poses, go ahead instead. Good. Two more times. And exhale. Last one. Good. When you come back to center, once again, forward fold, walk your hands forward and tuck your chin once again. And one more time, taking a stretch to the side, walk the hands over to the left. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, walk it over to the right. And then come back to center. And walk your way back on up to your seat. We're going to come to all fours so you can go to the side or go forward. And then just walk your knees back a little bit farther towards the back of your mat. So your shoulders are stacked over your wrists here. Um, do a little yogi push-up. Cross the ankles if you like, or you can keep them uncrossed. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, start to lower towards the floor. Bend the elbows. Stop about halfway here. Inhale, push back up. And then exhale, sit back for your child's pose. We're going to do that a few times here. On your next inhale, come forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push. And exhale back into child's pose. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push up. And exhale, sit it back. Good. And then one more time here. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, push up. Exhale, push back. Great, linger here, stay a little longer, let the belly drop. And then once you're ready, start to come into down dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Keep some bend in the knees in this first one here and just walk it out. You can walk one heel towards the mat and then the opposite heel. Let your hips shake out a little bit. into your down dog here. So hips go high, heels sink. Take a big inhale. And a long exhale. We're going to 
walk up to the top of the mat. Start to bend the knees again. Walk your way up to the top. You can take as many steps as you like. And then once you get to the top, just hold here in this forward fold. Let your head just go loose. And then fingertip touch the floor here. We're just gonna walk the hands over to the left so like we did when we were in that seated position. Come back to center. Walk your hands over to the right. And back to center. Next inhale here, take the hands to the shins and lengthen your heart forward. And exhale, release. We'll do that two more times. Take the hands to the shins, lengthen, inhale. And exhale, fold. One more time, inhale. Good, exhale, refold. Walk your feet in a little closer here. Bend your knees a little deeper so the belly rests on the thighs. And then now tuck the chin and round the back just like a cat back. We're gonna just start to draw up to stand. Take your time, push down into your feet. Once you get to the top, inhale, stretch the arms up over the head. Palms come together and then exhale, slide the hands down into your heart. Take it up on the inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, going back to forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step back one foot, then the other into downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, fold. Next inhale, come forward plank. You can drop the knees if you'd like to. Lower all the way down to the mat. Let the belly touch down. Tops of the feet push into the floor. Inhale, stretch your heart forward. Cobra. And exhale, release. Tuck the toes, push into your hands. Go back through child pose or push up and find your way into downward facing dog. Hold. Big breath in. And a long breath out. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Step or jump or walk your way up to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Good. Exhale, refold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step back. Take it into down dog or you can go right into plank. And then take your vinyasa. You can add on if you want to add a push up or take away if you want to skip it. Good, and then once you're back into down dog, big breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, rise high, tip toes. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, step jump or walk your way up to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, palms come up over the head, and then exhale, refold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step back, vinyasa, or rest. Take a breath in, in down dog. And a breath out. Great, inhale, rise high, tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Step jump or walk your way up top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, refold. Push it to the feet, inhale, rise. And then this time as we exhale, we're on the chair. So send the hips back. Good, bend the knees. Lift that low belly in and up. So if you can wiggle your toes around here. Move the weight in your feet, maybe move back and forth. Just feel all four corners of the feet here, press into the floor. Good. Stay in the chair. We're gonna take the right elbow to the outside of the left leg. You can also go hands to the outside of the leg. Heart lifts to the thumbs. Now watch that right knee that it doesn't pop in front of the left. So pull the right knee back in line with the left. Good, heart lifts. 
take a breath there. As you exhale, come back to center, but hold your chair. Stay low. Inhale here, and then exhale, opposite side. Left elbow goes to the outside of the right leg or hands to the outside of the leg. Watch the left knee. Keep it in line with the right. Heart lifts to the thumbs, inhale. Great, come back to center. Legs are getting a little tired. Hold their chair, hold your chair, inhale. Nice, and then exhale, release. Linger a little bit in this forward fold here. Shake out your head. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, step back, take a vinyasa. Or come on back into a resting position. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. On your next inhale, take your right leg, reach it up and back. And we're gonna bend the knee and open up the hip here. So flex that right foot. Stay really strong in your arms here. Stretch that right knee up. Good, release, let the right knee come into the chest. Now bring it up, in, uh, the foot up in between your hands here and drop your left knee to the floor. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths. On the inhale, lift your knee away from the floor. We're not going anywhere, just reach your heart forward. And then exhale, lower the knee. A couple more times like that. Inhale, lift the knee. And exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift. Great, exhale, lower. Now you're going to step the left foot up to meet the right foot. So tuck the toes again. Step the left foot up to meet the right foot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Push into the feet. Inhale, rise up all the way. And exhale, chair. We'll do that twist one more time. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Lift the heart to the thumbs. Inhale. Good. Exhale, come to center, hold. Inhale. Exhale, twist opposite side. Inhale and come to center. Exhale, belly drops to thighs, forward fold. Great job. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step back, vinyasa, or skip it. Great, take a big inhale. And a long exhale. Here we go, opposite side. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, open up the hip. We're going to stay here, flex the foot, stay strong in the arms, Good. and then release. Let the knee come in towards the chest, come forward and drop the left foot in between the hands. Drop the right knee to the floor, inhale, look forward, exhale, stay. All right, here we go with that little flow. Inhale, lift the knee, exhale, lower the knee. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, and then one more time, inhale, lift, heart reaches forward, exhale, lower the knee to the floor. We're going to step the right foot up to meet the left, forward fold, top of the mat. Great, inhale, half lift, exhale, refold. Push into the feet, inhale, rise up all the way. Last time, here we go, chair. Send the hips back, hands to heart center. Right elbow goes to the outside of the left knee. Heart lifts and thumbs, inhale. Exhale, center, hold, inhale. Exhale, twist, inhale. Great, exhale, come back center, and then release. Open up your feet now wide. Let the feet go to the edges of the mat and just take your hands to your elbows. Come into ragdoll here and let the head shake out. If you wanna move a little bit side to side, you can. Your hands come to the floor again. Toe heel your feet back in, hip distance. Inhale, half lift, reach your heart forward. Exhale, refold, step back. You can take that vinyasa. And then 
from down dog, big inhale. Long exhale, we're gonna start the same way. On the inhale, reach that right leg up, bend the knee and open up the hip here, flex that right foot. Good, neutralize the knee, bring the knee into the chest, we'll cat back here at home. Step the right foot up in between the hands and drop the left knee to the floor. All right, so now toe heel the right foot over so it comes to the edge of the mat here and let your hips sink a little deeper now. All right, so you can stay. If you wanna add on a little bit, we're gonna get a little lower. Drop the right shoulder inside of that right knee. Push the leg in, into the shoulder and the shoulder into the leg. And then you can walk your right hand to the outside of your right foot. That left hand might walk out a little bit wider maybe come off of the mat here. And then just let the head drop towards the floor. But keep squeezing the leg and the arm together. We're gonna see this one a little later here. Great, take another inhale. Exhale, release. Hands come back inside of that right foot. We're just gonna take a twist. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Right hand can stay on the thigh as well. Roll your heart up towards the sky. And if you wanna lift that back knee, tuck your toes, lift that knee away from the floor. Great, inhale here. Release on your exhale, hands come down, step back. You can add the vinyasa here or skip it. And settle the breath once you're back in down dog. Big inhale. And a long exhale. All right, left leg, left leg lifts. Bend the knee, open up the hip here. Bring the knee into the chest, little cat back here. Hold for a moment. Push the floor away. Step the left foot up in between the hands and drop the right knee to the floor. Walk the left foot over to the left edge of the mat and then just sink the hips. Hmm. All right, so you can stay or we can get a little deeper here. We're gonna drop the left shoulder inside of that left leg. Squeeze the leg into the arm, the arm into the leg, and you can walk your left hand around to the outside of that left foot. Maybe the right hand walks off the mat and goes a little wider. Drop your head towards the floor here. Keep squeezing the leg into the shoulder. Great, one more inhale. And exhale, unwind, left hand comes back. And to heel that foot back a little bit more, we'll take the twist here. Right hand stays down, left hand to left thigh, or you can reach it up towards the sky, and you can uh, lift that back knee if you'd like to. Good, roll your heart up, big stretch across the chest. As you exhale, release hands, plant down, step back, add a vinyasa. Take a saddling breath once you're back and down though. Okay, we're gonna add on, take the right leg, reach it up, open up the hip again, bend the knee, flex the foot. Knee comes into chest, hold in that little uh, rounded back. Step the right foot up in between the hands. Now we're coming up all the way here. So keep the back knee lifted, push down into the feet and rise on up to your crescent lunge. Good, let the palms come together and settle the hands at your heart. We're gonna just start to uh, fold over that right thigh. As you do, squeeze your right hip in and back. We're just gonna hover here. Take another inhale. And then we'll just start to come into warrior three here. So you can take a step in with that back foot. When you're ready, push down into your right foot and lift your left foot away from the floor. If the hands need to move to hips, or you can stretch them back if you like, or if you need a little support for your balance, just bring your hands down to the floor. 
reach that left heel back, sort of roll the left pinky toe down towards the floor to keep the hips square. All right, now as you lower, I want you to lower slow. So we're gonna re-bend the right knee, but hold here, hold here. Keep stretching the heel back, reaching the heart forward. Yeah, that gets tough. One more breath in. Awesome, now let the foot come all the way to the floor. Come back to crescent lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up. Let the palms come together and then exhale, release, step back, add a vinyasa if you wish. Settle the breath. All right, here we go. Left side, left leg lifts. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Bring the knee into the chest, little cat back hold here and step the left foot up in between the hands. We're coming up crescent lunge. Push down into the feet, rise on up. Good, hold, shoulders slide down, belly pulls in. Let the hands slide into heart center. We'll start with just the hover, so let's take the uh, torso over the thigh. Squeeze that left hip in and back. Hold here. All right, and then we're coming into warrior three or any version. Let's take a step in, push down into your left foot as you lift your right, push back through your heel here. Hands can change position. Square off the hips, roll that right pinky toe down towards the floor. All right, here's the challenge. So we're gonna bend the left knee, hover here, but keep reaching that right heel back. Woo. One more breath in. Great. Exhale. Come back to crescent. Let the right foot meet the floor. Inhale. Stretch up. Lift your heart. And exhale. Release. Step back. Add vinyasa. Awesome. Settling breath and down dog. Right leg lifts, bend the knee, open up the hip, bring the knee into the chest, hold. Now squeeze the right knee towards the left elbow and hold. Keep that rounding in the back. Great, come back to center. Step the right foot up in between the hands, come to crescent. Let the hands move to heart. Take an inhale here. Exhale, start to fold over the thigh. When you're ready, step up into that warrior three. All right, here we go. Lower a little bit, bend that right knee, uh, stretch through your left heel, stretch your heart forward. Okay, gonna change it up here. Step into that right foot. Now bring the left knee up towards your chest. Good, 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 good. Yep, flex your left foot, lift your heart. Let your fingers just reach down towards the floor. All right, bend that right knee again. Take the left ankle to the right knee and come into a little bit of a chair, a little bit of a standing pigeon. One more inhale. On the exhale, unwind, standing split. So now we come all the way to the floor, hands meet the floor, left leg lifts up towards the sky, drop your head towards the mat. Inhale here. On the exhale, re-bend. Step the left leg all the way back. So remember that Fun thing we did in the beginning, we'll do that here. Toe heel your right foot over towards the right edge of the mat and drop your left knee towards the floor. Squeeze your right shoulder and your right knee in towards one another. And then you can sink a little deeper. Let the shoulder lower. All right, walk that right hand to the outside of that right foot. Stay here or you can add on. Tuck the back toes, those left toes, lift the left knee away from the floor. You can try a little balance challenge here. Walk your hands out 
to the edges of your mat or beyond. And maybe you lift one, maybe you lift two, maybe find that airplane. Keep lifting your back thigh. Great, release, hands come to the floor. If you have the back knee lifted, let it lower. Unwind the arms here. Plant your hands, step back. You can come through vinyasa or come straight into your downward facing dog. Go one more time here. Right, oh, sorry, left leg lifts. Open up the hip, bend the knee. Good. Bring the knee in towards the chest. Now slide the knee over towards the right elbow. Keep pushing into the floor. Good. Bring the left foot up in between the hands. We come up to crescent lunge. Push into the feet. Inhale, rise. Palms come together and let them slide into your heart. All right, here we go into warrior three. Lean forward when you're ready. Take that step. Lift your right leg, push down into your left leg. Good, hold, hold, hold. All right, we're lowering a little bit. So uh, bend the left knee. Still hovering here, stretch that right heel back. Low shake. Now we're coming to stand. Push into your left foot. Bring your right knee up to your chest. Find your balance here. The fingers reach down towards the floor. All right, re-bend your left knee. Send your right ankle onto the top of your left thigh. And come into a little bit of a chair. Standing pigeon here. Keep flexing your right foot. Good. Push into your left foot, rise back on up. We're going to standing split. So send the right leg up. Let the hands come towards the floor. Let the head drop towards the floor. Great. Rebend the left knee. Send the right foot all the way back and drop the right knee to the floor. Toe heel the left foot to the left edge of the mat. Let the hands come inside. You can stay here or drop the left shoulder. Squeeze the leg into the arm. Walk the left hand to the outside of the left foot. All right, and then if we're going through that little balance challenge, you can tuck the toes, lift the knee. Maybe walk the hands out a little wider. Maybe lift one hand, maybe lift both. Reach your heart forward. Squeeze, 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 squeeze the leg into the arm. Awesome. Hands come to the floor. And then take that left foot back to meet your right. Find a downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And a long breath out. Right on, right leg lifts. Open up the hip, bend the knee. Bring the knee into the chest, just like we did before. We're gonna send that right leg, right knee over towards the left elbow. Now roll onto the inner edge of your left foot and send your right foot inside, or to the outside of your mat here. So start to push into your right hand and lift your left hand up towards the side. Fallen uh, triangle here. Great, and if that's too challenging, right knee can come down. We can come into the kneeling side plank here. Take another inhale. Exhale, left knee comes back to the mat. Step back, plank. And then lift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Big inhale. Long exhale. Left leg lifts, open up the hip. Flex the foot. Shift forward, bring the knee into the chest. Start to draw the left knee towards the right elbow. Slide the leg to the outside of the mat. Roll onto the inner edge of your right foot. And then open up for that forearm triangle or you can take that kneeling side plank. Good. Good. 
As you exhale, release, hands plant down, step back, plank, and then lift the hips up and back down. We're thinking about a big inhale, long exhale. Take the right foot, step it up in between the hands. And we're coming back to crescent lunge. Push into the feet and rise on up here. Good. Lift your heart. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Slide that back heel towards the mat. And stretch out the arms. These over the right fingers here. Hold for another breath. Good, reverse, flip your right palm, reach up and over, and now straighten your right leg, push into the right big toe mount of your right foot. Take your left hip back and slowly come into your triangle pose. So right hand comes down inside of the foot. You can hold on to the shin. If you have a black, you can grab onto your black here. Turn your left palm so it faces behind you, bend your left elbow and bring your left arm into a little bit of a half bind. You can bring it all the way around if, you, if it's available to you. You can hold on to that leg, or you can just have the hand behind you. Just roll back into that arm. All right, while we're in the L here, and exhale, release, re-bend the leg, plant the hands, step back, add a vinyasa if you wish. All right, left leg lifts, step the left foot up in between the hands, rise to crescent, lift your heart, and then exhale, open up warrior two. Seal the right heel. Gaze over the left fingers. Take a reverse. Flip the left palm, reach up and over. Now start to straighten your left leg and come into triangle. Take your time. Take the left hand to your left leg or the floor or a black. Stretch your right hip back. Good. Turn your right palm back behind you and then bend your elbow. Slide the arm back. Lay into the arm here. Good. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Unwind. Rebend. Plant the hands. Step back. Add vinyasa or fine down dog. Okay, a little bit more core work here. Okay, so remember you can do this on your knees like we did in the beginning. You can do those uh, yogi push-ups. Otherwise, follow me through here. Come into plank, hold your plank. Take your right ankle and cross it over your left. Good, hold, hold, hold. Add a push-up or a down. On the exhale, lower. Inhale, uncross the ankles. Take it back to downward facing dog. Take an inhale. And exhale, here we go. Inhale, come forward, plank. Cross the left ankle over the right. Take the push-up or skip it. Uncross and set it back, downward facing dog. We're gonna go two more times. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back, down dog. Inhale, forward. Cross the ankles, lower. Exhale, back down, we're facing. And one more time. And hard. Last time here, inhale forward, cross the ankles, lower. Inhale. And exhale, back down, dog. Great, big inhale. Whew. Let that, uh, that at next exhale be audible. Open up your mouth, side up. Hmm. Perfect. All right, right leg lifts. Stretch it up and back. We do that falling triangle again. Bring the right knee in towards your chest. Send the right knee to the, towards the left elbow here. Roll onto the inner edge of your left foot and send the right leg out. 
Now, if you want, you can add a little bit more core. Lift the right foot away from the floor. Hold, 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 hold. It's tough. Awesome. Knee comes into chest. Take the right leg, stretch it up and back. Good. Let the right knee come back into your chest here. Step the right foot up in between the hands. One more time with that little funky lunge. So we're going to toe heel that right foot out to the edge. Remember, you can do this with the knee down. Slide the right shoulder inside of the right leg. Let the hand, the right hand, come the outside of the right foot. Stay low here. Now you can add those arms, but you can also add the binds. Maybe the left hand comes around the outside of the right hip. Maybe the hands find each other. Maybe they don't. Keep lifting your left thigh. Take an inhale and then exhale, unwind. Step your right foot back, just go back to down dog. Take a big inhale. Long exhale. Okay, last one. Left leg lifts. Open up your hip. Bring the knee into the chest. Send the left knee towards the right elbow. Roll to that fallen triangle or kneeling side plank. Maybe lift the foot away from the floor. So you gotta engage that uh, oblique. Pull the belly in. Awesome. Bring the knee back into the chest. Step the left foot up in between the hands. And we'll do that funky lunge again here. All right. Uh, toe heel your left foot over to the edge. Left arm comes inside of the leg. Squeeze the leg and the arm in together. Walk the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Stay low here, drop your head. Maybe reach the arms, or you can add that little vine. Uh -huh. All right, really engage the legs to keep the balance here. Scissor the legs, squeeze the back toes towards the front heel. Very good, good. Big inhale. Excellent, exhale. Hand comes to the floor, step back, find down dog. We'll take a child pose this time. If you want to add a vinyasa before that, go ahead. Otherwise, just bring the knees to the floor. Let the knees open up wide here. Let the belly drop. Let the breath settle. All Take another full cycle of breath. Right. And then when you're ready, slowly come on back to downward facing dog. So we're gonna do half pigeon for a little bit more hip today. If you do not like um, to come into it from this way, you wanna come into supine, you can come onto your back here Take your right ankle over top of your left knee, left thigh, and draw that left knee in towards your chest. Otherwise, we're going to bring the right knee towards the right wrist. And then drop left knee to the floor, slowly lower into your half pigeon. So right heel is sort of in line with that left hip bone. And you can start to walk it out. Maybe stay on your hands. Maybe come to your elbows here. And keep squaring off your hips. So push your right shin down to draw your right hip back. Push the top of your left foot down to draw your left hip forward. Keep some space between your ears and your shoulders.
and stay here. If you want to add a little twist now, you can start to walk the right the hands over towards the right side of your mat. Keep pushing the top of the left foot down into the floor. In that little side stretch, come on back to your center. If you're on your back, you're going to slowly start to switch the legs and change to the opposite side. If you're in your half pigeon, walk your hands back, push the palms down into the floor, tuck your back toes, and then lift your knee into your chest like we've done before. Step the right foot back to meet your left leg downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Long breath out. All right, and then here you go, left side, half pigeon. Bring the left knee towards the left wrist. Drop the right knee towards the floor. Lower down nice and slow, take your time. Stay up on your hands or start to walk to your elbows. Same thing here, top, uh, push into your left shin to draw your left hip back. Push into the top of the right foot to draw your right hip forward. side stretch you can start to walk the hands over to the left side of your mat keep squaring the hips off here keep that space between your shoulders and your ears Side stretch, come on back to your center. We're going to slowly find your way back to downward facing dog. If you're on your back, same thing, just roll on over to your side. Come up and back into downward facing dog. Take a big inhale. One more vinyasa, if you want to come through it, inhale, come forward, plank, exhale, lower, halfway, or all the way. Inhale, cobra, or up dog, lift the thighs, and then exhale, up and back, down, or facing dog. Inhale, come forward again, drop the knees this time, lower all the way to the floor. Then we're gonna come into space pose. So let the elbows come underneath the shoulders now. The palms are pushing down into the floor. Fingers reach forward. Tops of the feet push into the mat. And now pull your heart up and through your shoulders. You can stay here if you'd like to add on a little bit. You can uh, push into those hands, lift the elbows. It will get a little bit more deeper into that back bend. Great, and then exhale, release. Let the elbows come back down if they were lifted. And then we'll lower the chest all the way to the floor. Let one cheek come to the mat here. Let the hips shake out side to side. All right, and then we're gonna do that one more time. Come back up again, you can come into that Sphinx pose. If you want to take a different back bend here, you can take this into locust this time. So arms stay at your sides, palms face up here. When you're ready, lift your arms and lift your legs. Reach your toes back behind you. Reach your heart forward. Squeeze your ankles towards one another. Again, inhale. 
inhale here. And then exhale, lower, opposite cheek comes to the floor. And once again, just let the hips shake out side to side. When you're ready, you're going to push up and back. Come into child's pose. Send the hips back to the heels. Let the belly drop. Take a settling inhale and exhale here. Okay, and then we're going to come to a seat. So let the hips drop off to the side. Let the legs swing around front. Keep the legs long here in staff pose. Toes point up towards the sky, sits bones grounded. Let the hands come to your sides. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and come into your full. Hands can come to your legs or they can be on the floor or you can have a strap here. Reach your heart forward. Exhale, you're gonna rise back on up here. Bring your right knee into your chest. Cross the right foot over the left leg and then get tall again. Nice tall spine here, heart lifts. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. Crook of the elbow goes around the outside of the right leg. And then just gaze over your right shoulder. So to deepen this twist, think about squeezing your right hip towards the top of your mat instead of letting it go to the back of your mat with your right shoulder. Try to make them do opposite things. Exhale, come back around to center, uncross your legs here, bring your left knee in, and then left leg crosses over right. Get nice and tall on the spine here, right arm reaches up, crook of the elbow around the outside of the left leg, and then gaze over your left shoulder. And same thing, see if you can squeeze your left hip towards the top of your mat as your left shoulder goes back. Deepen your twist. to the floor so bend the knees grab on your hamstrings here and then lower all the way down to the mat let the knees come into the chest add a little rock side to side all right take the right leg and cross it over the left so it's cow face legs and then grab onto your shin. So left hand goes to the right shin, right hand goes to the left shin. Pull your feet away from each other and down. Keep both feet flexed. So you want to feel this on the outside of your right hip or whichever leg is on top. Exhale, unwind, let go of the legs, keep the left knee bent, so the left foot's going to go to the floor. Now just straighten the right heel up towards the sky. You can grab onto the hamstring here. If you need to roll your ankle, go ahead, stretch out your toes. All right, re-bend your right knee. Both knees come back into chest, give yourself a little squeeze. And then we're gonna go left knee over right. Okay, and then grabbing on to opposite shins, right hand to left shin, left hand to right shin. Take the feet away from each other and down towards the floor and then you'll feel left hip, outside of left hip here. 
since my left leg is on top. Take a deep flex. to the floor, stretch the left heel up, grab onto your left hamstring here. Green bend. One more time, both knees come into your chest again. You can rock a little bit side to side if you wanna add a quick happy baby, let the knees open up wider, and you can grab onto your feet. All right, and then let the knees close if they're not. Bring everything in really tight. Make a nice tight ball here. Squeeze the knees in. Lift the head and the shoulders away from the floor. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then when you're ready to inhale, lengthen everything out nice and long. Reach the arms up over the head. Reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. Stretch out your belly. As you exhale, let the arms come back down to your sides. Let the palms face up, let the feet fall open. Let the eyes close down. moments here for Shavasana. See if there is any place that you can release a little bit more. Check the shoulders, check the arms, check the legs, check the eyes. you're ready big inhale once again take that big stretch arms overhead squeeze your ankles towards one another and then exhale bring the knees into your chest and roll on over to your side slow 
slowly help yourself come back up to a seated position. A nice tall spine here, let the eyes stay closed. Let the arms reach out to your side, fingertips touch the floor. To finish off, we'll take one more breath together. Inhale, reach the arms up over the head. Let the palms come together and nice and slow, slide the hands back down to your heart. Thank you guys for sharing your time and your practice with me. Namaste.